by slightly modifying the syntax within the v4 directive, we can gain access to the current index of the loop. The index starts at 0 and is incremented by 1 for each iteration. To show this, I have reused part of the example from the previous lecture and have added room for outputting the loop index within the employees table. To access the loop index, we need to modify the part of the v4 directive that contains the alias for the current iterations item. We need to enclose this part within parentheses, first of all. So let's do that. Down here, I'll just add parentheses around the alias, like so. Then, following the alias, we need to add a comma and an alias with which we wish to refer to the loop index. In this case, I'll name it index, but you could choose anything you'd like. With this, I can simply output the index through string interpolation. So let's do that here. I'll just write index, so nothing new here. Running the code, we should see 0, 1 and 2 being output within the table. And indeed we do. Later in the course, we'll take a look at using this loop index to add a background color to every second row of this table. But for now, just know that if you ever need to access the current index of the loop iteration, then this is how you can do it.